Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. Uh, it's Tuesday the 30th of May 2023, evening time here in the Big Mango, that's Bangkok to you. Um, and uh, this is only my second game today, the first game I couldn't get to play before I went to work and now it's very late and I must admit I'm rather tired, I don't particularly think I'm going to play this game very well. I can almost guarantee that pencil marks will be there. In fact, I almost might play the game with pencil marks to be from the beginning. Uh, that's how tired I am. Uh, there won't be a third game today. I'm pretty sure of that. Um, but anyway, well, let's let's try and make a start because I can see one thing. Oh, let's. I forgot to mention what's going on in the world. I forgot <laughs> about that. That's how tired I am. I forgot to chat. This is really a chat channel with an added Sudoku. Uh, I see. Um, Moscow uh, has been hit by uh, a series of drones mm. and uh, Russia is accusing Ukraine of uh, orchestrating it. Um, I don't know if Ukraine has admitted responsibility or not, um, but it could well be likely, couldn't it? I mean, you know, it could well be them. Uh, I mean, it wasn't like, uh, it wasn't me anyway. <laughs> I didn't do it. Um, so uh, now is this a good thing or not? Uh, I don't know, I'm not a military strategist, but it certainly has pros and cons, right? The advantages, uh, as I guess, are that people in Moscow will suddenly wake up and see, good grief, we're at war with Ukraine, when they tend not to, you know, have done so, I suspect. they. Uh, I, I watch, um, the, if you... Uh, check on my the front page of my channel. You'll see some video channels that I watch, and I uh, the, my trusted source on ma all matters Ukraine and, Ru and Russia are uh, comes from Vlad Vexler, and uh, you know he generally is a, a real is a, a philosopher and uh, very interesting takes he has on everything. Uh, I haven't heard his take on this yet, but um, he often says that uh, the Russian population is. Uh, depoliticized to a large extent the mass the vast majority of, of the country is depoliticized so there's a small grouping that are very pro Putin and a small grouping that are very anti Putin but over the years um, they've managed to depol depoliticize the population to the point where they kind of almost put their head in the sand and I suppose that that's going to be difficult to do if you live in Moscow and you see bombs uh, sorry you see um, drones attacking buildings around you uh, and it certainly has been in the news. It hasn't been something they've been able to hide. So I guess from the Ukrainian point of view, that's an advantage. Disadvantage is uh, if you start going away from the area in which is being uh, invaded, then there's the possibility of losing foreign support because it seems like you are kind of expanding the war. I don't know that I agree with that, but I'm just saying this is a possibility, I guess. Um yeah, we'll see what happens next. But, um, you know, peop I mean, the, the Ukraine is not going to sit idly by. They've, they're in this war, right? They're, they're re truly in it. They're not going to sit by idly by and just allow their country to be destroyed. So <sighs> we will see what goes on. Right. I have spotted one thing with this Sudoku. So I can get one thing before I hit the pencil marks, at least. Two things, actually, I think. Oh, no, one thing, anyway. Uh, I've got myself a two in this square here. And there was two things. I thought there was. I, I thought I spotted this over here as well, yeah. And a two coming down here. So I am going to get a two in that square there. And as far as I see, we have twos left down there, which I'm probably going to forget in a trice. Never mind. Um... Uh, I haven't fallen asleep. I'm still awake, but quite dangerous, even at this stage. Um, ah, aha, two, four blocking down here, two, four blocking across here, two and four in those squares. What does it mean? 
Uh, it means ones can still go anywhere, so that's not much help. Uh, sevens are in those squares there, so what else do we know about sevens? Anything else? Mm, not a lot. And uh, what did I say? Two, four. So the other number we're looking for is nine. Nine. That does help. Great. Nine blocks down there. So nine goes there, and then seven blocks across here. So we'll get the seven there. And this is two and four. So then this is one. Few. Okay. Now let's see the numbers that we've just put in to see if I can do any more with them. Uh, the one. Hmm. Don't know. The seven. Any more info on seven now? I uh, don't know, but the 9, yes, 9 up here, no, yes, 9 down here, 9 across here. So that is going to give me a 9 in that square there. We can take the 9s across to the left. So we shall plonk a 9 right there. Okay, we've got four blocking these two squares here and four blocking that square. So we're going to get four in that row, in that location. Hmm. Haven't spotted very much. I'm probably looking in the wrong place. I should just hang on just a s just a few seconds more. What I should do probably is um, click on the digits one by one and see if anything is revealed by doing so. Okay, uh, I see the eight. <laughs> you are wondering why I'm highlighting that, looking at the eights, because I'm following things along. So we've got eight in one of these two squares up here, blocking there, blocking up there, eight across there. We can get ourselves an eight in that square.
Now we have three blocking this square and three blocking this square, so we're going to get a three over here. And over here we will be left with a one and a four, I think. But we've got four as one of our missing numbers, so that can't be four. That must be four, that must be one. One down here, one up there, there's a one. Uh, we just need a 7 for this column now. Uh, I'm going to start going through the digits again. It helped me before, it might help me again. You never know. <laughs> Although I didn't actually get very far. I uh, went off somewhere else. I keep looking at the wrong thing, I'm sure of it. Okay, let's see what's going on with the twos, nothing new. Threes, ah, that's perfect. Threes blocked down here, so get myself a three there. Three across here, three across here, and three down there will give me a three in that square, and that's about as far as we can take them, because I think we've got threes up there. So we have 5 and 7 blocking down here, so I do know that this has to be 5 and 7. And so what's left here is 4 and 6. So 4 blocking across here, here's the 4, and here is the 6. One number left to finish this column looks to be a 9 to me. Nine blocking down here and nine across here means nine is in this square. Now, nine blocks across here and down here like this. And, no, I've messed it up. <laughs> forget that, forget that. I thought I'd found a pair. Uh, I had not. I've seen something else. Oh, 
I saw sixes in those squares. I thought they were in the same <laughs> squares. My eyes are tired. My eyes are tired. And what's that Monty Python <laughs> where it's hanging in the cell? My eyes are old and tired. Sixes are in these squares here. Nines are in those squares there. That's what I should have learnt. Um, Uh, I think I've discovered something, but I don't know if it's going to be useful or not. I think one six seven nine is missing here, and I've got one and nine, one and nine blocking that square, and I've got one and nine, or nine and one blocking that square. So it means that these squares can only contain one or nine, and these squares must contain six or seven. And obviously, we've got a blocking seven there, so that's going to be the seven, and that's going to be the six. Now, 7 blocking across here puts 7 into that square. 7 across here and 7 up here means that's a 7. Other drinks are available. 5 is the last number here. Oh, I didn't. Is there another 7 I could finish off with? No, there isn't because 7s are going to be in these squares. Do I have something else up here? Um, was it? F no, I can't look. 5s. 9? No, 9s are there. Oh, maybe not. Um, let's see. There's just one empty square here, isn't there? Uh, oh, hey. <laughs> What's missing here? Six, by the looks of it. I'm just, my eyes are drooping already, but manage, I hope I'm going to manage to stay awake until the end of the game. Uh, and even better if you would stay awake with me. Um, on the other hand, if you fall asleep watching the video, you will at least get to the end and increase my view time, so that might be okay. Maybe I, I should have that as a plan, put viewers to sleep so that they stick with the video until the end. I've got more watch time on my YouTube channel. Ah, aha, now I know what to do. Uh, the missing numbers here are 5 and 8, aren't they? So that's got to be a 5 and 8, but that doesn't help. And then we've got the 1s in those squares there. 1, 5, 8, I mean.
I do not have any completed digits as of yet. No, uh, I've been looking at this block down here thinking it's going to give me the answer. If it is, I'm blind to it. Um, okay, that's enough struggling from me. Time to finish the game now uh, with my usual method of uh, pencil marks. So we'll put in the fives and the eights here. We'll also put in the fives and the eights there. We'll do all of that in one fell swoop, and we'll also put the ones in there. Uh, what else do we know? We have sixes in these squares here, and we have sixes up there. We have, well, let's go through each of them, I guess. Uh, any pairs on one? I don't know. Twos. Uh, we have twos in these squares. Oops. Twos down here and here. We also have fours down here, I remember. Um, and we have four blocking across here, so we're going to get four there. We're also going to get four up there and four into those squares there. What's going on with the threes? We have threes up here. threes in those squares there, fives, uh, we got fives in the bottom here, oops, be careful not to make a fluke again by not holding down the wrong key, uh, six is as it is, seven is up here and down here. Um, eight is here. And there. And nine is in those squares there. And those squares there. And that's about it for me. So uh, this middle shoot is done, obviously. I'm just going to put in all the candidates everywhere. This block has bugged me so much. I'll just do the rest here. So we need one in those squares there. We have five. Oh, five is done. Six, seven. How about eight? Eight blocks across here. So we get eight in those squares there. And then over here, what are we looking for? One. We have one blocking across here. So one available like that two three four five six seven eight we're looking for nine no we're not we're finished <laughs> my apologies finished there uh so let's see anything across here um four eight two four i don't see anything 
Nope, so let's finish up here. We've got ones in any of those squares and the other missing number is a six, which can also go in any of those squares up there. Uh, over here, five, six, three, eight, that's four numbers that's done already then. So there's just one more block to do. Uh, do we know anything about the ones? No, we don't. So ones can go anywhere. Um, so that's done then okay so everything's done there phew right let's have a look then okay we've got five eight pair here so this has to be a one and uh, none of these none of these squares here can be a digit one so we will remove them Okay, 5858. Eight, five, eight. And now that leaves us with a 3 up here. And so that puts a 3 into that square. 5 goes here. 6 is in that square there. 8 is here. 6 means that this can't be a 6 now. Let's get rid of it. And uh, okay, 1 4 pair. Yeah, that looks okay. Um, right, shall we start? Looking through one four six. One, four, six eight. Oh, I should. Pr was there anything else in this? Oh, I got to get rid of the three. Excuse me. Okay, that's more like it. So we have a pair of seven nine here now, which is correct, I guess. One nine there. Okay. This is a five. This is an 8, this is a 5, this is an 8, excuse me. Right, this is a 1 then, 9 goes here, 7 is in that square, 7 is up here, 9 is there, 1 is there, 4 is in this square, that's a 1, 4 must be here, 6, Six, eight for the end of the row, four there, one there, uh, eight here, two in that square, five in that square, four goes here, two is there, that's our uh, uh, New York Times uh, hard level puzzle for Tuesday and I spent far too long uh, before heading for pencil marks so I, my apologies it's a long video anyway I'm off to bed see ya bye bye